Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Oblivion. So last time we were sent to Primeval Hollow, and I can't remember, to be quite honest with you, why we were sent here. I think it was the Warlock Scroll that we found in the Bandit Leader's tent. Did that somehow give us some coordinates or something? I don't really remember, but we're here and there's Minotaurs freaking everywhere. We're not in the exact same place I ended the last video at, but we're pretty damn close. All you really missed was me spending like 20 minutes killing the same Spriggan that killed me three freaking times. And a Minotaur that killed me a couple of times as well, so, uh... Yeah, I think I found an important section, though. I seem to remember this room. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but I think there's something important in here. And that's all I'm gonna say. This might not be the room, but... I think it is. I guess we'll see, and this is what I'm saying, man. This freaking Minotaur, it just won't die. Like, it just won't die! Speaking of which, I actually... You know what, maybe I should try that combo with, like, the, uh, the Cyclone, the pin it in place, and then see if I can use the Rock Attack. Rock Attack! And see if that uh, beats the shit out of it without knocking it out of the way, because... Yeah, that would be a really good combo if it actually works. And Cyclone doesn't cost that much MP to use. There we go. Okay, can we use Stone Storm without using a Vulcan Stone? Probably not, so screw it. Duh! Okay, is it going to keep him there? Yes, it is. That might be the greatest magical combo of all time. That's, that's awesome. This is what I'm saying. These are the sort of things you can do with Midas Magic. God, I love it. And he, she's not angry at me, apparently, even though I knocked her flying. And Smitty. I don't know where Smitty's gone. But uh, I'm sure he'll show up eventually. But I came up with a theory about why they don't seem to aggro on me when I'm using Stone Storm. Because even though I'm the one casting it, it's not exactly... It, it's, like, it's a weird spell, because it's kind of like gravity is doing damage to them, like the physics. So I'm assuming it kind of counts as like rocks falling on their heads or something, which wouldn't, you know, lead back to me doing damage to them. So... That's what I kind of think I thought, oh god. Yeah. You see that thing over there? That's a boss, mini boss type thing I was talking about where you can kill it and get its head to mount in your house. But, uh, it's also extremely freaking dangerous and we still don't seem to have Smitty, which is very concerning to me. But yeah, so, long story short, I feel like because it sort of uses... Ah, oh, there's Smitty. Welcome back, buddy. I feel like because it uses the physics, maybe that's why they don't seem to register that I'm doing damage to them. But either way, as long as they don't attack me, I'm okay with it. You know, I think this dude may be able to one-shot me, so we have to be very, very careful. Don't get in the way, maid. I... She got in the way. Why does everybody get in the way? But yeah, anyway, as you can tell, this dude's a big Landroth, and, uh... He's not... Oh, God. Okay, yeah, it, I, I'm pretty sure that's gonna one-shot me, especially since I'm, like, half HP, so we... Okay. <laughs> that nearly hit me. We don't want to get hit by that chip, but, uh... Yeah, I, I thought he was a lot bigger than he actually is. He's only a little bit bigger than a regular Landroth. God damn it! <laughs> That's what I'm saying! But yeah, I thought he was ginormous, but I guess he's only a little bit bigger than a regular Droth. Droog, whatever the hell you want to call him, but uh... Yeah, got a lot of HP, and as you can see, he packs a hell of a punch, so... We are gonna... It's expensive, but we're gonna try using the Paralyzed Scroll on him. Just cause, you know, we need some free freaking damage. Really? That didn't do anything? It looked like it hit. Maybe I missed, I don't really know. Oh, God. Okay. Maybe I missed, I don't really know, but that sucked. Well, we do have the Stone Storm, but yeah, it's... It does really good damage, but he has a lot of HP, which is kind of the running theme of this place, but... Yeah, like... D holy shit! <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. He went right through the maid. Well, look on the bright side, we got a Paralyzed Scroll back, and I've learned my lesson, I'm not even gonna try that again. I will, however, use my last freaking Morgan Stone, just so we can Stone Storm this bastard. It, oh god, I didn't know you could climb on that. It might, why is it not knocking him over? Okay. It might be a better idea that I just keep spamming the, uh, Midas Force push. Cause, you know, it's gonna knock him down, it's not gonna cost that much magic air. It doesn't do any, oh god, it doesn't do any damage, but... You know, it doesn't destroy our magic like Stone Storm does, but then again, Stone Storm, I, th I think it's worth it because it does do a lot of damage, plus it knocks him down, so... Yeah, it's kind of debatable. Okay! Try to punch me, I didn't even know he had that attack. And I just knocked Smitty down again. Why is it always you, Smitty? Well, I guess it kind of makes sense because he's the melee guy. The mage is usually... Uh, the mage's too far away because she's a mage. Okay, I have no idea how much damage we... Oh, if he's like half dead or something? That's not too bad. I don't know what the hell he's doing. I guess that's like resisting damage because he's not reflecting it because I'm not taking damage when I hit him like you do when you uh, hit the clan fears, which is really freaking annoying. That would suck. 
that's kind of one of those annoying things that a lot of mod makers tend to do. I don't think they really do it in this mod. They might, I don't really remember, but there's a lot of mods where they'll make a boss with a ton of HP and they'll give them like really strong reflex. So every time you do damage to them, you take damage back. And you can just, you can outright kill yourself from full HP just hitting the boss. So, yeah, luckily he doesn't seem to have reflect. Is he dead? I don't see his HP bar. He looks very much alive to me, so we're just gonna keep shooting. Are you alive, buddy? Yes, you are. He's nearly dead. I don't know if he's gonna rege- Okay! I don't know if he's gonna regen HP or whatever, but, uh, he's coming at me, so we're just gonna keep knocking him down. It's cheesy as hell, but when the dude- Why am I missing HP? Maybe he does actually reflect damage, but it's just a tiny bit. I can't really tell. I'm trying to look at my HP to see if it's going down when I'm shooting him. It doesn't look like it. Did he punch me or something and not one-shot me? I thought he always one-shot me, but... Maybe I don't freaking know. Is he dead? Oh my god, he's dead. Suck on it. Okay. That was a pain in the dick. And there we go, we got a hunting trophy. I don't think there's like... When I say you can mount it in your house, what I literally mean is it's a head. So, there's no actual legit way of mounting it like you would in like Skyrim or something with like a sword and shield or whatever. But, you know, with the decorator assistant, you can kind of... You can do that sort of thing, so... Yeah. It doesn't have like an inbuilt mounting thing, but it's a head, and you can't mount it if you have the right mods. So what the hell were you guarding over here? Because that one sucked ass. This one kind of sucks ass as well. well. That's some disappointing booty. Now if I remember correctly, I do believe this Droff fella, Droog, Droff, whatever the hell he's called, I think he's actually guarding the exit that we need to leave by, so... We should be almost done here, which is kind of a relief, because everything in here is dangerous as shit. And apparently there are enemies nearby, so I can't repair my crap. Well, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Yeah, I think that's the exit. Let's check the map just to make sure. Yes, exactly. So I think all we have to do, basically, is go out here and there's, like, something we can grab. I don't want to spoil that, because, again, I don't think we're supposed to know that's there. But obviously I do, because i played this before. But, yeah, something out here we need, and then I think that's it. Because this is, like, a... It's an outdoor section, but there's no actual way of leaving, so I think you have to quick travel from here. But, yeah, as you can see... Looks really cool, like, the design here is amazing, I love this place. Holy shit. This is what I'm saying. So much attention to detail. Like, just, you know, just take a second to think, just this tiny area out here. How long this must have taken to build? Uh, there we go, we need that. The, uh, Memorial Steely. Steel? Steely? I think they pronounce it Steely, I don't know how you're supposed to actually say it though, but... I've got a feeling you can, like, cheese your way out of the borders here, and it's, it's weird, but... Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we got what we needed. I think we need to take that back to Norlin or Sova, one of the two, it doesn't really matter, but, uh, yeah. So that's why we came here. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, just this tiny area must have taken forever to build, and then there's the whole dungeon that preceded this. All the other dungeons, the voice acting, the, the, the artifacts that are custom made, the guild, everything. This mod must have taken so damn long. It's ridiculous. Also, I'm trying to remember how far we are into the Lost Spires now, because I know it's quite long. I mean, we've already done quite a bit, but... I seem to remember Primeval Hollow being somewhat towards the end, so... Why are you I naked like again, it. Smitty? What the hell? Did, like, the land drop, like, destroy your armor? Apparently so. Well, I guess it makes sense. He does hit really hard. Okay, so I gotta repair Smitty's shit as well. You are a pain in the dick, sir. A pain in the dick. But see, anyway, so I think we're most of the way through the Lost Spires, maybe two-thirds, something like that, not entirely sure. I might be remembering wrong, I don't really know, but I know we have to return to the other spire where we got it's the my... miners to dig a tunnel, and I seem to roughly yes. remember the ending, but yeah, I don't think we got too much more to go, so... Yeah, I mean, I really enjoy this, but I'm kind of looking forward to finishing it just because there's so much other stuff I want to get to, you know? It's like, I enjoy Dark Souls too, but I want to finish it so I can play Demon Souls. Kind of yes. like a weird situation. Anyway, give me a moment here to repair all this crap. What's up, girl? I'm back, and I bought you a tombstone. You are most welcome. You're back. How did things go? Terrible. Just terrible. I died many times. I also found a vacant statue, and this... You don't suppose... Let me see that steely. Yeah, you cannot take the purchases. Incredible. You found the Lost Shrine of Lumini. Oh my god. I know this ain't really the time, but can you sell me posters? Which one would you like? All of them. Sell me all of the things. Holy shit, they're expensive. We can afford them now. I guess we'll Here buy you go. them, but... Like, damn. This is why we are broke. Remember when we first met? 
I told you about alien votive tablets I found dedicated to a goddess called Lumini. Uh-huh. Those tablets dated back to the first era, and except for them, we had no other references to Lumini. Until now. Many years I've searched for evidence of a Lumini shrine, but I was never even sure it existed. And now, we have conclusive proof. Truly remarkable, excellent work, Disciple. I know, I'm goddamn amazing. The statue felt cold and vacant. Kind of like my lost girlfriend. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, she was a bitch. In fact, that's probably why Lumini is referenced so rarely by the aliens. Other shrines like that of any Daedra are centuries old, and evidence shows people congregating around them throughout history. Lumini would have been no different had her spirit continued inhabiting that statue. My guess is her spirit vanished, turning a once thriving shrine into a mere monument. Ooh, I get it. Imagine how her worshippers felt. With Lumini gone, they lost faith, or turned to Daedra. Cause I gotta have beef, a beef, a beef, a I got Okay, enough of that. Alien style, I mean steely. Give me a moment to translate this. Okay. It's been a moment. You're slow. A memorial steely to Lumini. Placed next to the shrine by the aliens after Lumini's disappearance. A tombstone, if you will. Well, no shit. It says here, Lumini, celestial light extinguished by twisted evil. I'm not sure what to make of it. This topic warrants far more study than I'm able to give it here. You've cleared a path to the shrine, right? Eh, kinda. Good. Then I shall go there to study it in detail. In the meantime, you should speak to Sova. She's been looking for you. Well, naturally, I'm a handsome man. Of course she has. Ooh, give me my reward. Here, take this key to display case K. K? And what about advancements? Your rapid progress continues to amaze me. This latest discovery certainly warrants a promotion. You are hereby granted the title Fellow. What a shitty title. Congratulations. Thanks. You shall be no Why do you have more posters? It's so expensive. I'll take it, but... <laughs> Bye. We had like, what, 32 grand? How much do we have now? 19. Jesus Christ, you are bankrupting me, lady. You are bankrupting me. Speaking of posters, uh, I'm sure you can steal them at some point, but apparently not right now. Maybe that's when you finish the entire quest? I don't really remember. Okay, so yeah, anyway, we have to go to Sova. And we also have to find display case K. You are not K. Smitty, stop jumping on the display cases. It's disrespectful. Mostly to me, because it's my stuff. Some of it is not my stuff yet, but it will be, so stop disrespecting my crap. You asshole. And I kind of want to chuck more gems into that weird cat thing's mouth, but I also don't want to die, so... Yeah. Hey! Oh. I, I thought the glass case had gone from that pot. I got all excited. But no, we can't take that yet. You will be mine eventually, my precious. Don't you worry. I, I can't find the case. Where, where the hell is it? <laughs> hey, we got an acrobatics level. Hey, we can't take this pot, though. There we go. 11 pounds, man. Or... Oh, wait. Whatever the hell that actually is. Okay, so I remember there was a display case in the library, so... I'm gonna go check out the library and see if it's in there. I don't think there's any in any of the other rooms. It's weird that there's one in there. I'm assuming that's K, cuz... Can I help you? Yeah, I don't see any others around here, and you shut up has to say... I'm busy. Right. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything. Was this the library over here? Yes, it was. There was also, like, uh, something in a display case in here as well. There might have been two things, like this. Those was merciless more, and we got a letter. It's promised a souvenir from my blank march. Yeah, I can't really be asked to read that. Instructions, place trap on the ground by dropping from one's inventory. The trap will automatically self-set. Once sprung, the trap must be reset manually by picking it up and placing it again. The magical aspects of the trap consist of two spells, a retrieve and place spell. Both are enclosed. The retrieve spell will recover the trap uh, should you lose it. The place spell uh, gives you rapid deployment, but a higher magical cost. The Argonian trapper who sold to me told me of stories. A gargantuan swamp... Aima, Ema, who it took down with a single chomp of the moor. He mentioned applying a special compound to boost its potency. Take care. Cavion, something like that. Hello. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hey, there we go. We got K, and disappointingly, it's just a schematic. 
Well, at least it looks cool, don't get me wrong, but... I want, you know, vases and shit. I want things that look pretty that I can put in my house. Anyway, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, the more I've never actually used it, like not even once. I always pick it up, but I've never used it. Not freaking once. I don't know if it actually is good. It would be nice if it was like super overpowered so we could use it to, uh, you know, drop when we're running away from a tough boss or something. Holy shit, 375 magic? That is expensive. Well, at least it's cheaper to retrieve, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, let me find the damn- there it is. Right, let's drop it down and just see- I want to see if Smitty and the maid can actually be hit by it. Oh, it's over there. What are you doing over there? Okay, so it takes a while to set. It hit them all right. I don't know how much- well, let's put it this way. It didn't knock them out, but they do have really high HP, so... Maybe it's good. I know, it looked like it half killed them, so... Yeah, it might be worth using. We'll, we'll, I'll try and remember to do that next time we do some combats. Anyway, let's go find Sova. I think... is this Drunky? No, this is Sova. Well, alright then. Her name was Sova, she lived on the second floor, and it was very annoying. Hey, baby! How you doing? Hello. I've been looking for you. I finally deciphered that alien scroll you brought me. Damn, you took your time. That must pay you by the hour. If you'll recall, it said, A pure heart illuminates the entangled eye. After rummaging through years of Solon's research, I was able to make sense of it. There is an alien legend that speaks of a subterranean labyrinth built to protect the mausoleum of a great alien king, Aeon IV. Uh-huh. This is the very legend that fueled Solon's excavations. If it is true, the phrase, Entangled Eye, must reference exactly this. Entangled alludes to the labyrinth, while Eye alludes to its geographical location. Aliads attached great importance to the geography of Tamriel. The eye is an ancient label for the island on which now stands the Imperial City. If the eye of Tamriel is the Imperial City, then that's where the labyrinth must have once stood. The Imperial City could well have been built on its ruins, which still remain, buried deep underneath. Ah, I remember this. Deep underneath. If the labyrinth exists, it must sit below the current Imperial City. We can't excavate there, unfortunately. The only hope of accessing the labyrinth is through the Imperial City's vast sewer system. But where to start? Try the Imperial Elven Gardens District first. Find a sewage hatch in the Gardens District and search it through thoroughly. The labyrinth entrance may no longer exist, but even a single clue of its remains would be worth the effort. Alrighty then. Thanks. Now get out of my sights. Yes, indeed. Okay, see, I do remember this. We have to basically go back into the sewers yet again. I know. Sewers, they suck. They're terrible in every single game ever. There has never been a good sewer level. However, we only have to go in there briefly. Basically, as I remember it, there's like a crumbled entrance to like an alien ruin or something down there. We don't exactly know where that's gonna be. There might be a map marker, I don't really know, but... Basically, we're gonna go to the Imperial City, go into the sewers, and find this alien ruin entrance. And that's where we have to go. And I also remember there being a really cool, really tough boss fight in there. So anyway, I'm gonna go buy some repair hammers, repair our shit, because I'm completely out of the damn things. I'll see you when we're ready to go dive into the sewers, and we'll try and find the entrance, and then I think we'll end the video there, depending how long that takes. So, give me a moment here. Okay, after much search around, I have finally found the damned entrance. It's right there in the Elven Gardens district, I believe I'm in, so... Yeah, this should be the closest to where we need to go. I don't know how close it's gonna be, but we shall see. Right, so there's two directions we can go in, which is never good. What's down here? Oh, mud crabs. Duh, you scumbags! Please don't be the, uh, the stone storm. Okay, good, well... <laughs> it still kicked the crap out, Smitty and the maid! But still, as long as it wasn't a stone storm. I guess we should check the map. Oh, okay, so we've been through here already. How did I not see that? Because that's definitely where we need to go, and it's in this direction, which is a good thing, because I was going to double back and go the other way. So it should just be around this corner here. Get out of here. So sorry, Smitty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> see, I think it's just this, so, uh, yeah, that was incredibly easy to find, which is a good thing, because, like I say, no one wants to be running around the sewers for 20 goddamn minutes. And the journal updated. I found an alien doorway into what must be a labyrinth ruin. I should explore it. Yeah, no shit. Oh god. Spoilerific load screen. Don't look. 
You didn't see that. <laughs> I really wish mod makers and just people in general wouldn't do that shit. Is it Skyrim? There's, there's another game I can't remember what the hell it is. It might be Skyrim I'm thinking of, but there's one game and there's like every damn. In fact, no, it's Dark Souls I'm thinking of. Every damn load screen tells you about like an item in the game or something, and from that you can usually discern bosses and all kinds of secrets and things like that. I really wish they wouldn't do that. It's like, oh, by the way, Havel's equipment is in the game. I'm like, oh, gee, thanks. I'd rather you didn't spoil that for me, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.